Okay, today we're going to install the Easy Tank. It's a brand new product on the market. Gravity flow liquid chlorinator for aerobic systems. Uh, no venturi, no hookup to the pump. Very simple, quick installation. Um, so let me show you the Easy Tank. Got a three gallon reservoir Easy Tank. Got a cover lid with the serial number. Also has our uh, phone number on it. Everything information wise, you need to get a hold of us. It's got a fill lid. It's got a compression ring and your vinyl tube. Homeowner's manual. Looks for everything you need. Um, also has our contact information on it. Picture illustrations. Comes with a snap tee. Snap tee snaps onto the pump piping. And this fitting will already be installed on the end of the vital tubing. I've already glued one on. We've used a half inch clear pipe. You will use half inch white pipe. I've done the clear just for the demonstration to show you how it works. Um, we've got a pump tank assembly here with a pump in it. I put a water hose in it so I can fill it for the display. But that's your sprinkler pump and, and this demonstrates the pump tank that's attached to your aerobic system. So. Your visor will already be concreted into your lid. I have to use an adapter ring. Got a yellow safety lid. Riser. Make sure your riser has the tabs in it for a safety lid. If it is an older riser, you will need to change this riser ring out. Set up like that. You gotta put the snap key on. This pops on there. Your half inch pipe, you slide right down through the three quarter inch snap tee. All the way to the bottom of the tank. Our easy tank vinyl tubing, we hook up to that fitting that's supplied with the chlorinator. You will have a yellow safety lid. So when it installs, this final tubing goes right in between the wall of the riser and the safety lid. There's plenty of room. Okay. I'm going to wrap some of that up. Compression ring. What the compression ring does is when the riser lid, four and a quarter inch hole, the riser lid gets screwed down. It compresses that tank to where otherwise the tank's going to spin inside of, of the riser lid. This is to where you can get the, the fill lid off. This is your access port. Uh, it holds three gallons of bleach. We're going to put some bleach in it. You will drip out approximately a quarter cup of bleach when you fill this thing for the very first time. There's a hole in the bottom of that reservoir that allows it to dose. Once you've filled it up full of bleach, you reinstall the gasketed lid. Snugly, you don't have to overbear it. And what's going to happen is as that's draining out, you'll notice in my half inch pipe, clear, there's a column of water starting to be pulled up in that pipe. So the tank works under a vacuum. It's a vacuum controlled liquid dispensing device. That column of water, when it stops dripping, will stay above the effluent line until that reservoir runs out of bleach. So as you can tell, it's already slowing down on what was running out. We're going to let that equalize for a minute. It will start dripping, stop dripping when it goes under a vacuum.
This chlorinator um, disinfects, it adds disinfectant, which is household bleach, sodium hypochlorite. It adds as the water is rising in the tank, which gives it the most contact time of, of anything on the market. While that's leveling out, I will tell you, always look for a uh, germicidal claim on a bottle of bleach. If it says kills bacteria, it will have the percentage of bleach on the bottle. If it says lavender scent or something like that, it will not have a percentage of bleach and you have no idea what, what uh, bleach you're getting. It might be 2%. It's, uh, make sure you look for a germicidal claim when you're buying bleach. So you can tell it's already slowing down. It's going under a complete vacuum. And once it achieves the vacuum, it will stop dripping. And sometimes it takes a little time. In a minute, we're going to turn the water on to demonstrate water coming from your house to fill this tank up. And uh, at that point, you'll get to see the water level rise. You'll get to see how it doses. And then after that's done, then we will uh, we'll cut the pump on and drain it down and show you what happens on the backside of the cycle. <laughs> 